All right, so let's go ahead and get started talking about customizing our print output. Now by print output, what we're referring to specifically is publishing to Microsoft Word or to PDF. So the content that we'll go through right now applies to both of those output formats. All right, now let's just review on some of the things that you can customize with your print output, starting off with your page format. Now page format is controlled by your media objects. Remember yesterday how we were talking about those section starting templates? Those section starting templates are all associated with a media object because the media object controls your sections page layout. All right, so every section starting object that you publish with must be associated with a media object. Otherwise, Word doesn't know what page properties to give to that section. All right, so in general, again, remember page format controlled by your media objects, things like paper size, page layout, orientation, margins, headers and footers, and so on. Next thing you can customize inside of your Word output is the mini TOC section that displays at uh, the start of your sections. We took a look at yesterday the mini TOC the, in this chapter, mini TOC that displayed inside of your published output. Now if you remember that mini TOC was set up in the topic template specifically in a tab called the Related Topics tab. All right, and just to refresh on that, let's go ahead and open up our chapter template. Chapter template is a section starting template. Let's go to the Properties view here. All right, now because this is a section starting template, we do have a media object associated in the print help and web tabs. Remember in the web tab we have the option to start a new page where the topic based on this template would publish as its own HTML page. Otherwise if we left this disabled the topic would publish with the topic above it as if it was one long topic. And note here the media object. Now if we pop over to the related topics area, this is that area that will add navigation to your published output. And navigation for your print output are going to be those mini TOC sections. All right, so we've called this mini TOC section uh, in this section. And it is using the automated styles with author it. And we'll be taking a look at those automated styles uh, in a few moments. And remember that we can choose the position of that mini TOC. And we can choose which topic links display in that mini TOC section. All right, so you can choose whether or not you would like to include a mini TOC inside of your print output. All right, so next we have style formatting. You have complete control over the formatting of the styles that publish inside of your Word output. All right, now your styles are going to be located inside of a Word template, a dot file or a dot X file, depending on whether you'd like to publish your document to Word 2000 or 2003 or to Word 2007. You have the choice of either or author is compatible with both. Now that Word template is going to contain all the styles that you plan on applying to your published output. Now you may have noticed already you're not allowed to add in ad hoc or manual formatting inside of AuthorIt. All of your formatting must come from a style. This is how we ensure consistency in the formatting of our documentation, or at least one way we ensure consistency. 
So in a few minutes, we're going to take a look at creating some new style objects in your library and then adding those styles to your Word template. The last thing you can customize about your Word output are the headers and footers that display. The headers and footers are set up inside of your Word template. And we're going to go the, through the procedure of how you would actually set those headers and footers up. Now, for author to know which headers and footers you would like in your published output, we go back to the media object. The media object has the name of that header and footer. And you associate the name of that header and footer with the page that you would like that header and footer to display on. The first page, odd page, and even page are your options. So within each section of your document, you can choose which first, odd, and even headers and footers display in your published output. We're going to take a look at how to create headers and footers inside of your Word template. Uh, I will tell you now, it does require some expertise with Word because we're working with a function called Auto Text Entries. Uh, if you're not familiar with Auto Text Entries, I'll show you how to go through them. You'll notice it's very procedural based. And we do have the procedures for this documented inside of your training manuals. And they're documented for Word 2000 and 2003, and also for 2007. Because with 2007, the interface has changed dramatically, so the procedure is a little bit different. Uh, so as we go through the demonstration, don't feel like you have to memorize all the steps that I go through. They are well documented inside of your training manual, so you can refer to that PDF file when you're ready to start customizing your headers and footers.